Hello everyone and welcome to our Virtual Summit 2024. My name is Laura Martinez, CX Manager for CLO Europe, and I am very happy that you are joining us today for this special event we have prepared. We have today an agenda full of relevant content considering your request and feedback. During this conference, you will have the opportunity to learn about the success stories of some of our most outstanding users who will share how CLO has become an indispensable software for their professional careers. Our first CLO user is Martina Ponzoni, a 3D fashion specialist and co-founder of The Archive. She also advises companies on 3D workflow solutions and offers 3D services. Our second guest is Gongchu Sun, a fashion designer who will present us with his master project from the University of the Arts in Bremen. Finally, we will meet Aitana Basquiat, who has explored the artistic potential of CLO by creating stunning 3D digital art. We hope these stories will serve as motivation and inspiration for you. We will also talk about the resources available we have for our individual users, such as our community and our Discord channel. My colleagues Ariel Gold and Melody Tennessee, who specializes in 3D, will be showing you how these resources work, how we can make the best of it, and how our most active users are already using them. For those who haven't seen it yet, we will be also introducing all of our training resources, which cover everything from getting started with Glow to more advanced topics. We have even more for you. Our design and implementation specialist, Coralie Finsec, will introduce you to a much awaited topic, the latest news and innovations in terms of Glow features. Finally, we will present Connect, our online marketplace platform where users with an account can buy and sell digital assets. And as we know that questions always arise, we will have our chat active during the summit, so please don't hesitate to ask questions if needed. Our main goal today is giving you all a greater understanding of our software, the support and learning resources available to you as individual users, new ideas to apply to your projects, and most important, the confidence that you have the support of our entire team and community to help you achieve success. So let's get started. Thank you again for being here. It's an honor for us, and we are excited to see what we can do together. Hello, my name is Martina Ponzoni, or Pons, and I am a 3D fashion specialist and the co-founder of The Archive. I have a Bachelor of Fashion Design and a Master's degree in Accessories Design from Politecnico di Milano. And at uni, I started to be interested in 3D modeling because I have never been very good at drawing. <laughs> and I find myself visualizing things like three-dimensionally in my head and it's very hard and very frustrating to put them flat on paper and that's why I started using 3D software to design and I found it very uh, intuitive and um, after my graduation I started um, I started uh, working at Hugo Boss in Switzerland uh, in 2016 and in that position, I had a chance to learn a lot about how 3D can be integrated into product development processes from design to sales. And I was really able to see the potential of a very well structured workflow. And during my time at the company, I was working in Cloud 3D almost every day. And when you do that for two and a half years, you get to learn things very quickly. So I became very uh, comfortable with Clo and a lot of its uh, tools. And given my interest and experience with leather goods, uh, I had the chance to specialize in 3D modeling bags and other small leather accessories, which turned out to be a very niche, but very sought after set of skills that really helped me start my freelancing career once I moved to Melbourne in 2019.
As a freelancer, I work with a very wide range of brands and designers, and I get to see a lot of different applications of what I can do. And for instance, with independent designers, I mostly operate as a sample room, and they're usually looking for creative and technical support to develop their products and communicate them and showcase them. And it's very interesting because the process is quite flexible and it's generally a one-to-one -one with the designer themselves. And you get to see the collection come to life from start to finish. And you can see here an example that I'm showing from uh, like a design that I worked on for a holographic fashion show. And the designer, uh, Shaili from Mutiny, um, gave me a piece from a personal uh, archive and we uh, we recreated the pattern in Claude 3D, animated it, uh, textured the garment and then rendered and to then uh, use it for the holographic show. So it's quite interesting to see how you can go from a pattern to a whole show with the same asset. And um, I also work with medium sized brands that might or might not have internal 3D design teams and most of the time they are more they have more structured processes already and what I mostly do with these companies is consulting them on how to set up a 3D workflow to suit their needs without disrupting their processes and troubleshooting specific issues they might have and also offer offer them um, hands-on 3D services. And then I also work with global brands that mostly hire freelancers when they need an uh, extra pair of hands to finalize their digital uh, showroom work of modeling and rendering a whole collection, which might be, you know, like hundreds and hundreds of pieces. Um, or most of the time also for I getting I get contacted by their marketing department that are looking to develop CGI campaigns to um, communicate the products and you know like show them to the public. And as you can see here um, on this backpack, like we started from an existing model that I reproduced in Claude 3D with all the details, the trimmings, etc., to then use this asset both for um, uh, e-commerce when for with some very uh, let's say like studio like renders and then the same asset was used by another artist to create a promotional video for the product i feel like the there are two at least two different ways of approaching you know like these are two very different ways of approaching approaching um 3d design because on one hand you can be very creative and on the other side, sometimes you find yourself doing very repetitive tasks. But um, honestly, I don't mind if like I didn't mind also working on repetitive things because they really allowed me to hone my technical skills. And these skills, uh, once you have them, they remain and they also get you to understand the products, you know, like the accessories and the garments much better from a technical point of view which I think it's always essential in order to create uh, 3D assets that then behave well also digitally and can be translated to real life products. In 2021, I started working at RMIT in Melbourne, um, teaching in the Sustainable Innovation Program, which is part of the Fashion and Textile School. And in my course, I try to give my students an overall view of how 3D tools and techniques are works in the industry. And we spend a fair bit of time working on soft and different software, but I also focus on encouraging them to get used to think critically about it and not being distracted by the hype in which innovation is most of the time wrapped in. So there is a lot of noise that they need to filter to be able to learn how to use digital tools adequately within the technical and cultural context of the fashion industry. And by the end of the course, each one of the students gets to develop their own project. And you can see two examples here, which are very um, indicative of what we do. So there are certain students that prefer to work on very technical things. Uh, for instance, Selena worked on a custom fit zero waste uh, pattern that she created and sampled in Clo and Illustrator and then 
printed out and uh, actually sewn together in real life with fabric while on on the right side you can see a video from Jackson that uh, decided to focus more on the storytelling that um, CGI animation can help you communicate. And in the last two years or so, uh, I started a project called The Archive, along with a team of other three people, which is a platform that aims at making fashion archives freely accessible by digital means. And we are working with museums and fashion archives to digitize garments that are usually carefully kept in storage and hardly accessible by people that want to study them or see them. So what we do uh, with the support of, uh, of course, like museum curators and conservators is to reverse engineer these garment patterns and create 3D rep replicas that will allow a wider audience to appreciate them, appreciate them and study them in detail since uh, 3D assets carry a whole range of information that photos or 3D scans alone cannot really convey. And on our website, we freely offer the reconstructed patterns, photos, renders, and insight on it, insights on each item uh, in the hope to give the fashion community basically the second best option to a hands-on experience with the actual garment, which anyway is often not an option for many students and researchers. In this way, we try to bring like real craftsmanship in the 3D side of fashion, mixing traditional and innovative techniques to reconstruct and showcase um, fragile or precious species, pieces that can't often be on display. We encourage creatives to play with these 3D replicas, as the concept of playing is usually very detached from uh, pieces collected by museums and archives. And we think that creativity flourishes in an environment where experimentation and exploration are encouraged. And with digital tools, one can remove the risk of damaging the items and feel free to study, explore, deconstruct and see these objects in movement instead of behind a gallery glass. And also because you always have Control Z available, which is very convenient. And of course, this whole idea came from our personal interest in garments and fashion history but it's also undeniably connected to our dislike for the current like faster and faster fashion production system that as we all know is not sustainable and the quality of garment has become appalling so they become they are considered disposable uh, faster and faster which is um, terrible for the environment and uh, for who manufactures them and we hope that by giving creative people more tools to deepen their knowledge about well-made garments and giving them historical insights on um, fashion heritage, we might be part of a much needed uh, shift toward better practices in the industry. And thank you. Hi, welcome to this Cloud Virtual User Summit for Hobbyists and Freelancers. We're happy to have you with us. My name is Melody Tennessee, and together with my colleague Ariel Gold, I'll be walking you through our support platforms, as well as giving an overview over our digital supermarket Connect. I'm located in our Munich office and have been a 3D designer at Cloud since 2019. My background is in fashion design, and together with Ariel, I'm focused on our growing online communities. Hi everyone. Thank you, Melody. My name is Ariel Gold. I am here in our CLO New York City office. I have been with CLO since 2020 and prior to that, my background was in apparel design and I will let Melody kick it off. Let's imagine I'm facing a roadblock while working on a project in CLO. For this, we are going to search through the official help articles and forum posts. Visit clo3d.com and navigate to resources in the upper menu. On this page, click on Help Center. Within the Help Center page, towards the top, you will find the search bar. Let me enter the keyword Fur Fabric to demonstrate an example result. In the left column, you see there's two types of hits, one with everything that came up on the community forums and the other articles on the Help Center. This way, you can filter by either type of result. The help articles contain manuals and simple explanations. 
Looking through the forums can help in case another user has encountered a similar issue as you before. Help articles are always authored by CLO employees and have no discussions attached. Meanwhile, the Q&A forum enables users to interact with each other, while still being monitored and also answered by CLO's own designers. That means that other users can chime in to give advice, and so can you. Users that are especially active receive routine rewards, for example, a free month on the CLO license. If you wish to create a new post, click on New Post on the upper right. In case you're not logged into the website yet, you will be prompted to do so. When posting, keep in mind to be as descriptive as possible. You can insert images, for example, screenshots of your flow window or an error message into your post. Adding text to it helps refine future search results. All languages are welcome. The website also offers a chatbot. You can access it over any page on the CLO website. It's located at the bottom right corner. You can also type in any search queries here and the chatbot will generate an answer for you based on the Help Center articles. For video tutorials and the comment section also checked by CLO designers, please visit our YouTube channels in different languages. You can find the mainly English channel under the handle CLO3D. The Spanish channel is called CLO in Español, and Portuguese is accessible under CLO Brazil. Hey everybody, so let's talk about the CLO Discord. If you aren't familiar with Discord, it is an online well platform where you can have a conversation very similar to something you might use like Slack in your office. We have a CLO official Discord, and if you have not already ever used CLO, you can actually find about how you can join the Discord here on our website, and we will make sure to link that below. If I jump over to our actual CLO official Discord, on the left-hand side, you can see different channels that people can join. We have our CLO official, our Marvelous Designer official, and we also have our CLO set official channels. These are all moderated by CLO employees. Um, on our left-hand side, if you are new to the CLO Discord, you will only see at the very top the notice section where we have our announcements, this is where you might see stuff where we post about public workshops that we offer or when we have a new release or a new feature. This is where you will see those announcements. A rules section where you will just see very simple normal rules for how we operate here on the Discord channel. A read me first section. A self role section. Now this is quite important because you need to click on self roles and react to this blue dot here. Once you've reacted to that dot, the global community below will actually open up and populate so you can then post. Once you have reacted and the global community is here for you to use, this is where you can start to add in your own personal questions and even answer other people's questions. We have our new to CLO forum that we launched recently, and this just has excellent resources to use if you're new to learning CLO or maybe new to apparel design where some of the CLO designers have actually posted their favorite um, textbooks to learn about pattern making. We have the help forum where you can then post your questions. So we can see here lots of different questions constantly going on. And these are moderated <clears throat> and answered daily by our design team, myself, Melody, and others. We have our CLO video section where we'll just post if there's a new YouTube tutorial up or sometimes some separate unique YouTube videos that we have recorded that we think you might find helpful a general chat section. So if your question isn't necessarily CLO related, you could come here to talk about any other things that you might think of. We also have our show off section where you can post your own CLO creations here and to share with the community. Expert for hire. This is where you could post your personal portfolio to let people know that you are open to being hired or you can even post maybe you're looking to hire someone a suggestions channel. We love to hear from our users. And if you have an idea for something you think would be great in CLO, you can come here to post about it. We also have a resources tutorial section where we can, where our individual users can come to post their favorite tutorials, their favorite YouTube channels, their favorite helpful articles that they think that other people will also find helpful hardware discussion. So if you have a question about a computer, maybe it's something about specs, you're looking to buy a new computer, and you're wondering what might work best for what you're going to be doing, you can come here to ask. 
We also have our recent CLO Academy, where you can come to ask questions about some of the videos that you've watched in the CLO Academy. Again, this is moderated by our design team. Also, we have our Everywhere section. This is a newly launched feature called Everywhere. And if you haven't checked it out, I definitely recommend checking it out. But of course, when you're learning it, if you have a question, you can come here to ask. We also have a Portuguese language community as well as a Korean language community. Um, these are moderated by CLO designers who speak these languages fluently. And of course, we are always going to look forward to adding in additional languages to serve the wider community down the road in the future. I hope you guys join our Discord and we cannot wait to see you and answer your questions there. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Gong Xu, and I'm currently studying fashion design in Bremen, Germany. I have always had a huge passion for fashion, but my journey took a pivot turn when I started exploring digital tool for design. In my time as a student, I've completed two internships, which give me valuable industry insights. However, it wasn't until recently that I began using Close 3D a software that has really transformed my creativity process. And this year, I took part place in the Digital Fashion Contest 2024 and was fortunate enough to play second. This was a significant achievement for me as it showcased how far I've come in merging technology with my fashion design skill. Now I'm focused on using 3D technology to bring my ideas to life more efficiently and with a great position. I started using Clo in the early part of this year, mostly driven by the curiosity and the need to speed up my design process. As someone who always wanted to visualize my ideas more quickly and clearly, Clo has been a game changer for me. Learning to use Clo was a self-taught journey, one that wasn't part of my internships, but it felt like a natural extension of my learning. Professionally, I use CLO in various aspects of design, from sketching initial ideas to testing garments, structures, and fit virtually. It's incredibly useful when I come to experimenting with silhouettes, fabrics, and texture without having to physically produce samples. This not only saves time, but also allows me to make more sustainable choice in the design process. Now, I'd like to introduce you to one of my recent projects, Perfect Boy. This project explores the idea of masculinity and how it is shaped by complex cultural expectations. Growing up, I experienced the traditional norms from my homeland and value collectivism and tradition. We are also encountering the more individualistic pressure that are prevalent abroad. Those two forces often push against each other, creating tension around what is meant to be the perfect boy. And fashion become my medium to explore this concept. Through this project, I experiment with the shape and structure of garments using clothes 3D, tools to push the boundaries of how masculinity can be represented. My aim was to challenge traditional ideas on masculinity by distracting and reshaping garments in an unconventional way. And I played with extravagant silhouettes and asymmetric cuts, allowing the digital space to serve as my canvas of innovation. And here is the final 3D animation for the project Perfect Boy.
reflecting on my experiences, I believe that while internships and projects provide foundational knowledge, they often lack the exposure of the latest tool, like Clo, that are transforming our industry. Learning Clo on my own and using it in real-world projects, such as Puffy Boy, has better prepared me for the fast-pacing demands of the fashion world. And looking forward, I see 3D fashion playing a crucial role in the future of our industry, especially when it comes to sustainability. By reducing the needs for physical samples, we can minimize waste, save time, and lower production costs. I also believe that 3D tools will reshape how designers collaborate globally. Instead of sending physical samples back and forth, we can work in real time through digital platform, which will foster a faster, more connected and infected design community. So in conclusion, 3D fashion is not just a trend. It's an essential evolution in how we design and produce clothing. I'm excited to be part of this journey and looking forward to continue to use this tool to bring my ideas and creative diversion to life. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, I'm Coralie Viensek, a free design and implementation specialist at Co. And today I'm very happy to introduce you to a much awaited topic, the latest news and innovations in terms of functionalities, as well as our path forward for our development. At CLO, the users are the focus of our development. We consider your processes on a global scale to adapt our solutions to your every need. We strive to provide an end-to-end -end answer in an ecosystem in perfect synergy. Let's have a look at the summary. We'll be looking at the latest innovation for each phase of your work process in conjunction with our solutions and ecosystem, starting from concept and development, going through sample making, product review, development and production, and finally marketing. Let's start with the very first phase of the creative work, the mood board. On our collaborative closet platform, where you can co-create with all of your partners, you now find the visual board. This is a new functionality that allows you to create mood boards and kickstart your creative process. Don't start from scratch anymore. Make use of all 3D assets from your previous collections that are stored on the closet platform and add 2D elements such as pictures and sketches and present everything in an interactive way. What's the latest news? We have now the Coloro palette integration. At the start of your creative process, we offer our Connect Marketplace to provide you with a wide range of 3D elements to get your projects off the ground. Connect is regularly updated with new contents such as avatars, fabric, patterns, styles, and trims. You have more than 9.7K assets that are there for free. We are aiming for this year to provide you with additional 500 more blocks. A new feature in Clo, you also have direct access to the platform from the library in the Connect tab, giving you a quick and easy access to the marketplace. You can simply browse, select the asset you want, drag and drop it, and start using it. The same concept works also for Closet. So now in Clo, you have the Closet tab. You can browse all your work folders, select a style you want to work on, simply drag and drop it into Clo and it will open automatically. Quick and easy. We have heard you. A big update in Clo has been made on our avatar editor. You are now able to move certain vertical measurements on the body of the avatar to really shape it the way you want. We also added some possibility to change the breast more precisely with additional measurements. We also provided you with the option of crotch shaping for male and female to be able to check the fit of underwear or trousers more easily. Please stay tuned for the next releases as we will add more and more options for this new avatar editor. As some of you might know, we completely revamped the modular mode to make it fast and easy to register blocks and have all sorts of style variations. A newly released option was added, the automatic block recognition based on AI. When saving a new garment to the modular library, Clo will recognize the pattern pieces and automatically label them and make the block saving process far easier. 
in the upcoming release, there will also be more options, so please stay tuned. In Clo, AI is involved in a number of features, such as the link editing function. This newly released function allows you to edit or amend your patterns more quickly. Simply connect two sides of a sound pattern together and edit each side simultaneously. Example, by linking a sleeve to a sleeve head. A clone new feature that will make life easier for designers is the new PBR map generator. All you need is your basic fabric texture and you can generate all the other maps from it. Quick and easy. In our 2024.1 version, we added improvement to the graphics. With new presets like digital, crack, vintage, stress, and golden foil, we wanted to empower you with the possibility to get a better visual result in a faster way. Additionally, in the graphic property editor, you have the option to use the normal map of the fabric on which it's located. You can now apply all type of effects with one click to fasten your workflow. A few releases back, we provided you with the new knit fabric type that allows you to visualize your knitwear styles in a more realistic way thanks to the different options available. In a spirit of constant improvement, we improved the settings of the fabric with the sampling randomization, for example, for the melange knit in order to remove this moi effect that you can get. We also added the knit direction stitch option. You can just change it to 45 degrees, 90 degrees, and really create the perfect knit you have in mind. In the near future, we will bring richer sets of presets as well, so please stay tuned. Our development department is conducting extensive research to improve the simulation of the different layers. We are also studying the different types of quilting and fillings so that we can soon provide you with solutions for visualizing your padded styles and accessories. If you have any feedback on the subject, please don't hesitate to contact us. We value your opinion and expertise. A great innovation already released in Clo is the ability to visualize soft bodies. This feature can be activated on Clo avatars or personalized one, allowing you to evaluate styles more easily and see skin that deforms under the pressure of clothing, just as you would do in real life. Soon you will also have more options that will come in the next releases. So stay tuned as well for this one. For all your grading review in Clo, we've recently provided you with a window that lets you judge all your sizes with the corresponding avatars. You have an extra option in the new 2024.1 version called Panoramic, which will allow you to see all the avatars in the same window. This process is just now one click away. For those who don't know it yet, Closet provides a line sheet generated automatically from the data stored in your collection workrooms. The list mode of the line sheet covers information ranging from an overview of the style, different variants, the sales channel, through the different costs for a complete examination and rapid decision making. With the new colorway editor, it's now possible to create new variations depending on three different scenarios. The first one is called materials. This is the old way of creating variations. It's only changing the visual properties. We have all properties. This includes the physical properties. When working with completely different fabrics, for example, you can use this option. We also have the link mode for repeated items, such as logos or graphics or trims, for example, that are repeating. We have worked very hard on providing retro compatibility. So you can now save your file in the 2024.1 and also use them in the oldest versions. POM improvements. We've made them more flexible. You can now place measurements anywhere inside or outside a pattern. This can be useful for placing graphics, for example, and more improvement will come in the next releases. Include the gradation of the graphics has been improved as well. Place them to scale and separately. You can also use percentages to change the size. There are more improvements to come in the next releases. Now let's talk about the print layout improvement. The algorithm is being reworked to speed up performances using AI. And this is done every time we have 
a new release. We are also improving the connections to the various plotters and possible exports. We are working on the features that will allow the possibility to recognize print placement for a better logo placement, for example. So this will come in the future. On our Closet platform, we have implemented the ability to save rendering properties and integrate them directly into Closet in order to automate rendering generation on our online platform. Set up your pack shot for your users quickly and easily. Closet Virtual Showroom is an interactive way to showcase your styles online. The showroom can be accessed via link or website where users can browse through a virtual space and view different garments and related information. Virtual showroom applications are varied. You can use it to present at a trade show, a meeting, or even on a website to promote your products. Now in Co, AI Avatar Studio is offering this new impressive AI-based feature. From a photo, you are able to create an avatar that is hyper-realistic in order to have renderings ready for your e-commerce. You can use existing pictures or create a new face based on a prompt. We heard that you really liked using this feature and we are thinking about developing it more and further. So stay tuned for the new progress on this feature. A new update in the assets, you now have the possibility to have the body types of the meta humans. You can directly ret retrieve them in the Claw library. And you don't need the UI plugin for that. A new functionality that connects 3D clothing with all types of avatars and digital space is our everywhere. You will be able to fit a garment easily, optimize the mesh, rig, do UV packing and back textures, and everything is done in a few clicks with an interactive guide. Compatibility and uploading to our Connect platform has also been simplified. So you can connect all your styles to any kind of platform. A new plugin that was recently released is our Claw Live Sync plugin. This is a connector, a bridge between Claw and Unreal Engine. So you can go from one to the other in a seamless way. This will empower you with the possibility to create astonishing renders for your e-commerce, for example. Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Hi everyone, this is Aitana Basquiat and I would like to show you how I use Glow as an artistic tool. I'm a 3D artist based in Madrid, Spain. I came here uh, in first place to study art history and graphic design and start working after that on my first audiovisual projects and also as a video editor. But the truth was that I was really unsure about my professional future and suddenly the 3D world appeared in my life and changed everything. Uh, I instantly fell in love. And in 2016, I started watching uh, tutorials and learning by my own. Uh, I began to uh, master different uh, 3D softwares because it's necessary to control uh, different softwares depending on the task, on the task uh, like texturing, compositing, or creating clothes uh, in the case of Claw, and so on. In 2018, I began uh, using Marvelous Designer before Claw appeared uh, because I wanted to create my own garments. Uh, until that moment, uh, I had been relying libraries from different artists for that 3D, but I wanted to create more specific and unique pieces for my works. Uh, and when I discovered Marvelous Designer, I unexpectedly developed a strong interest in fashion design that I never had before in my life. Uh, because really in Try Me, uh, patterns have their work, uh, the different fabrics, their behavior, and, um, you know, after creating my first pair of pants and my first dress, I, I wanted to go further and create garments with more complexity and, and also trying to create my own garments, but also trying to recreate garments from uh, fashion designers that I really admire or other brands. My work is inspired by women and introspective themes that I explore through the internal action of my characters and the, also the environment. Uh, I draw heavily from my academic background in art history, uh, also in contemporary artists and social media, uh, film, photography, sculpture, architecture, uh, I have a deep connection with music and nature as well. 
uh, these elements serve as my main source of inspiration, uh, enriching my, my creative process and giving me new ideas. Okay, so now I want to share with you a few projects. The first one is Surreal Clothing. This is also my first garment animation. I want to create a dream world with articles of clothing come to life, uh, scenarios full of color, of happiness, of fun, uh, moving with grace and creativity and enjoying the, the freedom and excitement of being alive. Okay, the second one uh, is Digital Narcissus. This is uh, a criticism of social media and uh, false appearances. I took the myth of Narcissus uh, as inspiration. I wanted to make an outfit that looked like a flower and had many ruffles that, you know, that helps to create contrast of lights and shadows. Since I also started uh, from the Baroque Tenebris aesthetic to create this composition. Okay, the third one is Puffy. I wanted to create a, a down jacket in this occasion. And I don't know. Sometimes I improvise on the fly. <laughs> I ended up making uh, like a cushion um, puffy pockets on the front side. I don't know. But Honestly, I love it. I love the final look and with this makeup and these ornaments on the face. I don't know. This is how it looks. And the latest one is called Locamente and it's completely inspired by a 70s music band from Spain called Las Grecas. I wanted to create a sort of tribute to the band and I create a total of eight looks, I guess, inspired by the 70s, but it's also with certain touches of fantasy. Now I want to talk about my workflow and all the steps I follow uh, till the final result. The first thing I do is a mood board. In this case, I only made uh, one for the type of pants uh, and sleeves that I want to achieve, as well as the colors I want to throw out all the composition. And the next step was to open that studio and create my character. Once it was to my liking, I loved in a uh, looping cut work animation and in another project I love different poses in order to have uh, just static renders uh, of the final composition. In Claw I started making the top and lastly the pants. Even though I have a, a mood war, I like to experiment in all the process um, and vary and add things to the patterns like the silver strips on the on both parts of the of the outfit. I also want to give a 13 galactic touch on the shoulders of the top part. And the sleeves are like a bishop sleeve style, massive, <laughs> massive bishop and sleeve. And I want them to have a sort of pleats. And so what I do is apply horizontal lines uh, along of the of the sleeve and alternate the strength and the angle of the folding. So some lines have zero degree angle and others 36. And also what I add is an increase of the H and V shrinkage. And so what I achieve is this result. I love these sleeves. I think they are really cool. And the last one is that I apply the 
the animation that we made in, in that 3D and export it in, in Alembic to Cinema 4D. In Cinema 4D, I create the scene. I want an interior with a skyline on the top of the ceiling and a space that follow away the chromatic palette of the, of the outfit. And depending on the project, I texturing directly on Glow, sometimes in Sustan Painter, and other times, like in this case, in Cinema 4D. So once everything has materials and textures apply, I focus on the lining, uh, which is the final step before export. When I export the final render and the animation, I add in post-production the sound of the video and the ambient, and this is the final result. I think Glo is an incredible program that greatly fosters creativity for digital artists, for designers, that marks a before and after, not just in how it's perceived digital fashion, but also in how it's created, in how it's done. Throughout history, art and technology has always um, uh, advanced hand in hand, um, allowing us always go one or a few steps ahead. I consider technology as a friend and it excites me to think what will come next. When people ask me what I do and then don't quite understand how all this is done, I like to conclude by saying this is technological magic. Hi again, I would like to briefly introduce you to the learning resources we offer for our individual users. Note that you can find this information on our learning page in the individual section. One of our latest projects is CLO Academy Online, a platform where we offer a collection of courses developed by our 3D team. By accessing the site, you will find detailed information about current and upcoming courses, along with pricing for each. The platform features the Intro to CLO course, as well as specialized courses covering more advanced topics. To get started, simply create an account and purchase the course that interests you. We also keep organizing online and on-site workshops that we always announce on our Instagram. And if you access our link, you can check them out, get information and purchase tickets when you are interested. Taking a workshop directly with CLO ensures that you receive personalized and expert instruction from trainers who have in-depth knowledge of the software. You will also have access to the latest features and updates, as well as official CLO resources and materials. Additionally, CLO workshops often provide exclusive tips, best practices and direct support, giving you a more comprehensive learning experience tailored to your needs. Finally, do not forget that we have also some free resources, such as our uh, beginner's course on YouTube and the manuals available in our help center. Please don't hesitate to contact our support team if you have any questions or cannot find the training you need. Connect is a marketplace for 3D clothes and models made in Flow and Marvelous Designer. You can share your items either priced or for free. Log in with the email address already connected to your closet and Clo accounts. On the upper right hand, click Upload and then choose whether you wish to add items to your store for others to be able to download or images to the Connect Gallery for showing off your renders. On the next page, simply follow the instructions. All mandatory fields are marked with a red star. Other than title and thumbnail, choose your item's description and tags. After uploading an item, you can set up your portfolio and customize it. Hi, everybody, and 
for our Connect store. This is a great place to start if maybe you aren't so familiar with building garments or maybe you're just looking for a block to start building your own styles. For our Connect, there is a store, a gallery, a contest section everywhere, and as well, different apps that you can be used, and of course, a support section. If you're ready to start looking for something to download, we can always head right into our store section where you can type in something just to start searching, or you can even filter things by garment, fabrics, trims, avatars, and scenes. If I go ahead and click on garment, we can then filter even further. We can search things by gender and age, by style of a garment, so t-shirts, sweaters, denim, pants, skirts, coats, blazers. We can search by a genre or a mood. We can separate things by different software. So if you're looking for something for Chloe, Ginny, or Marvelous Designer, and you can also sort by free. Really nice, you can search by a price point or paid or even free. And the best thing is there is an amazing amount of free items that are available for download here on Connect. And these are great start points for any project to create your own unique designs. Of course, if you are ever feeling overwhelmed and not sure what to do or where to start, you can start by coming over to the Connect official store. This is a great place to start looking. These are items made for the community and for individual users like yourselves. We have everywhere outfits. There is a new arrival section where we can actually see that there were recently some new animations added. There were some new kid avatars added. We have shoe lasts. Uh, female V2, so version two avatars, garments that are made to fit those avatars, men's blocks. We have hands here if you're making gloves, different hand poses that you can apply to your avatars, scenes and lighting, props. Um, the different female avatars and male avatars can also be downloaded from here. Mannequins, the kids avatars, even our cute little baby Juju avatar. So you have a lot of different things that you can download here to customize and individualize your projects. If we are interested in ever downloading one of these items, which is really nice, it is quite easy. We can hover over an item and simply click on the little cart. You can also click directly on the item to open up a page that's going to tell you more about this item. So I can see it as a slim fit denim right there. And again, all I need to do is click add to cart. I will get a pop-up just confirming that I do want to add this item to my cart. Once this item is added to my cart, I can see in the upper right-hand corner, the little number one there, letting me know something is in there. And I can go to the checkout process. In the checkout, even if my item is free, I do still need to click this little checkbox, connect terms of service, and place my order. Once I have my order placed, I can see all my previous items that were downloaded. So here I have the denim, a cute pair of pajamas, all sorts of different things are in my history of personal items that I have downloaded. And all I need to do is now jump into Clo. In Clo, on our upper left-hand corner here, we'll see the star. This is our Clo library. This is where our avatars live. But we also have two additional tabs, one for Close Set and the other one here for Connect. I'm already logged in, but if you weren't logged in, you just need to log in right here. It's going to connect to the Connect store. And underneath my items, I can click on my name. And here I can see a little search bar and everything I have downloaded. Now it was a slim fit denim. So if I go ahead and type in slim, I can see that denim populate in and all I need to do is double click to add it to my working space. It'll populate in and here I see my denim in the 3D window as well as my denim pattern in my 2D window and I'm ready to go. I can start editing or doing anything I might want to do to make this my own. Another really nice thing with InConnect is that I don't actually even need to go to the Connect store. I can actually come to the top where I can see garments, fabrics, trims, avatars, and scenes. And then directly below, I can actually start to see all of the different items available. Again, there is that nice checkbox for free items, and I could start to search and see what is available to me. All I need to do if I see something I like, hey, maybe this little crop top, double click. And Chloe is going to load in that item. I'm gonna actually add it to my working space for kind of a start of an outfit.
And there we go. I now actually have my denim pants and my shirt ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys enjoy using Connect. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, this is JJ. I am the Glover CX3 Meter and our team is working together to take you to the next step. Before concluding today's session, I would like to introduce you to our team and share our vision for the future. Users use Clo in 144 countries around the world. Imagine 144 countries. That's why we work in office in eight different countries and communicate with Clo users worldwide. Not only do we help you when you have an issue, but we also manage the community, including Discord, and organize the event for individual users like today. We also create a variety of contents to help users better use CLO software, like CLO Academy. Have you checked it? The team has a lot in store for you, so stay tuned. Okay then, I would like to share our vision with you. Do you know what is the biggest hotel company in the world it is? I have already answer in here, the slide, the answer from the Google. You probably heard about the Marriott International, right? So far this year, it is the largest hotel company with 30 different brands and 1.5 million rooms in 139 countries. That's a huge number, right? I know, but is the Marriott International really the world's largest hospitality providers? What do you think? I bet you heard about the Airbnb, right? Airbnb has more than 5 million hostess around the world, offering more than 7.7 .7 million rooms in more than 100,000 cities. Now you can compare Marriott International and Airbnb. Which one is the biggest and largest hospitality providers? We don't have a fashion brand in CLO, but we want to be a biggest fashion company in the world, like Airbnb. And to do that, we need your help as you understand our vision. That's why we always thinking of you and we trying to plan things you can enjoy. The most important thing for us is your feedback. Size doesn't matter here. As much as you love Clo, please give us your feedback. Okay, I hope you enjoy this short post credit scene and turn to the Laura to wrap up today's event. Thank you. We have reached the end of our virtual summit. It has been a pleasure sharing this space with you and we appreciate you being here with us. We hope that all the information we have shared today will be of great use to you and that you feel more inspired to continue making the most of CLO in your projects. Special thanks to Gonchu, Martina and Aitana for sharing their work with us today and if you have any questions regarding the CLO subscription, the types of plans we offer, or the resources mentioned, it, you can just fill out the contact form on our website and we will get back. Before we say goodbye, we invite you to explore the resources we have mentioned it today and to join our Discord if you haven't done so already. So, see you at the next edition.